Five dollar bill on the string. Mint, I think you wanted either you or him dropped that five. It fell out of your pocket. Five dollar bill. Oh no. It's hard to get rookies that are, especially rookies from America. Just give away. On the left side of it, left side of it. Don't look, don't <laughs> Dave Stoller and I are about to set some more people up. We just got done setting up our teammates with the five dollar bill trip. Now we're going to get some McMaster students here in the gym. Okay, we might have another. hilarious <laughs> going to the last meetings of the night for the night so this is our meeting room team meeting we meet here congregate here every evening okay we can start there we got lots of entertainment time so we got to get it started but first peter has a dance peter all right guys everybody already knows what i'm up here to announce uh we're all expecting it our annual rookie show it's a tradition Everyone knows this team is the oldest team in the CFL, founded in 1869. The inaugural <laughs> rookie show was in 1870, when the events of the year before abused the new rookies. And it's a proud tradition. We've carried it on, and it really has gotten, you know, very soft now. What you guys are all required to do, it is a requirement, the fine systems in effect, is to perform a skit. Now we have some large, some large uh, position groups. So we don't want more than four or five guys in the skit. Four guys. No more than four guys in a bit. <laughs> because otherwise we get like one guy standing off from the side with like uh, something taped on his chest just standing there not doing anything. So everyone has to do something. The fine system is in effect. And also your camp fines will be doubled if your skit is terrible. <laughs> so if it's not funny, fines are doubled. Now there is a carrot with the stick. If this yeah, is funny and meets our standards, you can reduce your cap fines by up to 10%. <laughs> so we are kind, we are generous. The rookie show is on June 18th after the game, after our preseason game. We got a night uh, back here on campus. So I can use everyone a lot of time to work on some good material. And we're still talking about whether we're going to require the specialists to do their own performance. Anyways, so anyways, uh, any questions? No, of course not. <laughs> wow. Jamal has some, uh, some linebackers and defense in. Yeah, my guy Brandon Dins is going to entertain us tonight. Xavier, you spare until tomorrow because we got an offensive guy want to step up to the plate. So okay. be dense, man. Anybody want to introduce Brandon? Well, you know what? We're going to have to step this up, Brad. We need some intro music tomorrow night. Yes, sir. <laughs> we need an MC, somebody that can do a little something. So for tonight, we're going to bring up One Pock, Brandon Denson, the man to miss the legend. You on stage. You on stage, One Pock. One Pock, I like it. I see you, One Pock. One Pock. You got a few eyes on you. <laughs> All right, this is my song. This is Holy Dear to my Heart. Say you got a vibe with me on this. Start singing. One day I'm waiting. Tuesday I'm fading. Wednesday I can't sleep. <laughs> Do the 
the bubbles. Zoom in on the bubbles. Hey, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to bed. It's literally 12:40 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so um, man, day what? I think it's the day five now coming up. I don't even know. They start coming. They start. I told you guys. They start moving and coming together. You don't even know what day of the week it is. After a while, training camp just does that to you. But guess what? I'm blessed by the best and forgiven for the rest. So I'm actually, before I go to bed, I'm actually sitting here watching uh, podcast TV. Okay. I was just taking a look at my buddy Avon Coburn's. Uh, video blog, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna lay it down. Um, get up in the morning. Go get my grind on, man. Heavy grind mode. This is what it takes to be a champion. Well, champions are made in the off season and the preseason. <laughs>